Um, governance Lihotla is to provide a platform for all air quality officers and officials involved in air quality management. This Lihotla also help us deal with the management of this our space in this community of practice. It on behalf of the Department of Environmental Affairs, one would like to thank the Northern Cape. I'm sure you'll convey this, um, Mr. Abrams, for hosting this year's Equality Nukuta, and welcome you all to this important event. We are meeting at a very somber time with the recent passing of our beloved minister, Umama Umolewa, who was very passionate about important environmental challenges such as air quality, because she understood very clearly that it was the poor that are hurt most by this air pollution. I'd like, I would therefore like to dedicate this year's Equality Lekhutla to her and use the occasion to recommit ourselves to take a word forward because this is the best way in which we could honor her life. It is indeed true that under our minister we have witnessed an unrelenting effort to address the consequences of apartheid's poor environmental planning on historically marginalized communities and put our country on the path to sustainable development that benefit all South Africans. We are here to celebrate our successes in this regard and acknowledge the role played by our minister in all of this. Minister would have wanted us to celebrate our achievements, but she would also have been the first to remind us that the work to implement our constitutional obligation in terms of section 24 is far from being achieved. As you all know, next year marks 25 years since the attainment of our democratic dispensation. This is quite a significant milestone which will allow us to look back and what we have achieved since the democratic government took the reins of power. In this regard, work is currently underway to review the progress which government has made over the past 25 years of democracy. In addition, this requires us to look ahead on what still needs to be done. As we gear, gear ourselves up for the work ahead, I urge you to reflect and take pride for the great strides you have made over the years towards the realization of our collective 
mission, which is anchored on the noble goal of protecting the health and well-being of all South Africans as enjoyed by the Constitution. But in the same vein, we must also be brutally honest and undertake collective self-examination with a view of ensuring self-correction with respect to the areas where your efforts have fallen short. In conclusion, I would like to reiterate that as you embark on the road ahead, you can be assured of my unwavering support and encouragement so as to enable you to execute your responsibilities towards the equality management. So with those few words, I would like to officially declare this Lakhutla open, and thank you very much. The set of air report is important, of course, because we have a mandate to ensure that people are breathing air that's not harmful to their health and, and, and well-being. And of course, we have difficulties in the country in some areas. But we also want to generate the necessary passion for all of us in this room and other people to jointly improve and preserve the state of air where, where the, the need is. We first also want to know, to know what we are managing. Do we have a particular matter problem? Is it SO2? What exactly is the problem? And whether the policy interventions that we have uh, are making the difference that we expect. I don't necessarily present this slide, but I just put it here as a reminder to say when we are measuring in the monitoring stations that we have, these are the sources. This is where all the pollution comes from. Why we do air quality management? We do air quality management for one thing only to ensure air that is not harmful to health and well-being. That's what we do. It's not to club companies around or anything like that. It's to ensure that people breathe clean and healthy air. That's all we do it for. So people are complaining their well-being is being affected and we must database this information. We must publish and present complaint, complaints data in formats that are, are, are impactful and useful. We must publicize new research around these impacts. So not just the case of putting it on SACWIS, but actually putting out some situations and saying there is new information which has the following implications, making it public. And then conduct the source apportionment studies to confirm the extent of the problem. So I mean, the stuff that was presented earlier is just astonishing. That's exactly the kind of information that you need to keep the pressure up. So with that, thank you very much.